futures and options on futures trading involves substantial risk and is not a suitable investment for all types of investors. Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results. When I use the word I in this video, it refers to what I teach in my charting course or what I author in my twice daily oral and written updates. Prices shown on charts and quote boards are in real time and take into account all known activity up to this point in time. And if you'd like to read more of this disclaimer, simply hit the pause key on your video player. Welcome. Today is Thursday, October 27th, 2011, and I'm actually going to be showing one of my special videos as I'll be out west returning next week. So stay tuned, and here's one of my special videos. Well, good day, everyone. Ira Epstein, and I'm here to talk today about Bollinger Bands. And the rationale here is I don't want to have to cover the analysis and what a Bollinger Band is each and every time that we do them in one of our videos. I want you to grasp the understanding of it. I use five different indicators when I construct a bar chart. And this is a chart that is called a bar chart. You could have a candlestick chart, point and figure. There's area charts. There's line charts. There's a whole series of different charts that people use. The key, though, is the Bollinger Band supposed to keep the realm of the data within the chart 95% of the time. A Bollinger chart is an algorithm that was designed by John Bollinger to do such, and I teach it in my course called Ira Epstein's Charting Course that you can find out much more about by visiting our website at www.iraepstein.com. Go into the word education, you'll read about it there. But let's take a bar chart. Let me blow it up to just show you that a high and a low are what we care about. There's the high of the market, the low. Really not interested in terms of the Bollinger Band, anything other than the day's range and actually the closing price. Is it going to close above or below? The Bollinger Band does hold importance to me. I'm going to just narrow the chart back in, and at this point we're going to put on what a Bollinger Band looks like. And the dashed black lines are the Bollinger Band. First thing to look at is, number one, they do not run parallel to each other. This is part of an algorithm designed to use two standard deviations from a mathematical mean to derive a 95% probability. And here's the probability. That the market will hit but not stay over. It can hit, but it won't stay over. The Bollinger Band more than 2.5% of the time to the upside or to the downside. Let me show you what I mean. Here's the upside. The market can hit it. It shouldn't stay over it more than 2.5% of the time. The same right here. This does not mean the market can't back away and go higher again. That's not what the Bollinger Band is saying. It's not going to exceed the Bollinger Band itself to the upside more than 2.5% of the time. And to the downside, the same thing. And here again is the analysis. The market comes down, gets away from the Bollinger Band, can ride it down. But if you'll notice, it's not staying under it more than 2.5% of the time. You can see that back here. So what's the importance then of the Bollinger Band? It offers a potential, what, target for support and a target if you come back for resistance. And I think in trading, when you can get a potential resistance or support target, you have another way of saying, maybe that's where I should be considering lightening up my position if I'm long or if I'm short. I'm Ira Epstein. You'll see more about this in my videos. Hope you enjoyed the short explanation. Thank you.